We're in back of exec 15. I'm going to show you how to edit alert categories. So sometimes you want to turn off certain types of alerts and other times you want to turn them on. So let's uh, see how to do that. So in the upper left hand corner, click on the drop down arrow, click on configuration and settings, and then go to alerts and notifications Then click on alert categories. So you're presented with a whole bunch of different types of alerts. Uh, usually the red are the worst ones, and uh, there's, you've got action alerts such as media, you've got uh, warnings, and then you've got the informational only in blue. So if you click on archiving, for instance, now by default that is going to be enabled, and you can't even uncheck it if you don't want to. It is definitely going to be one of those things that is always going to show up as an alert. So if it's grayed out at the top, you can't make that change. Uh, now you do have some other boxes which um, you can check or uncheck to record the event in Windows Event Log. So you can see this in Windows Event Log uh, under the events themselves just by going to Start, Administrative Tools, Event Viewer. And you can see the events after this opens up. Here we are. We can see the events under Application. And you can see there's an error here for Backup Exec under the Source. And it tells you that a job was canceled. So uh, that way you can see those right in your Windows event log if you leave that checked. If you uncheck it, you won't see those anymore. Now, as we scroll down, you see uh, most of these here are enabled and they cannot be disabled. However, as you start getting down to the warning area, now these can be either turned on or turned off uh, just by checking or unchecking the enable alerts for this category. So there's some that you can and some that you can't. <laughs> so uh, then you've also got the informational ones, and usually the informational ones you can enable or disable at will. So look at the default settings. You've got several disabled, but mostly they're enabled. And you can go ahead and check those or uncheck those. And when you do, though, they will show up over here where it says active alerts, and they'll also show up in the Windows event log as well. So that's how you edit or change um, alerts in Backup Exec 15.